Hello folks, this is uh, 2013, October, November, paper 2-2 two, two, and the question number is 3. It has been requested to me by some uh, viewer from YouTube, so that's why I'm doing it. Um, this chapter is uh, concerned with the chapter uh, work energy power or I can even associate it to the chapter dynamics. So the first uh, question is, state what is meant by work done. So when any force applied on a body. Uh, produces uh, some displacement in the direction of the force then we say work is said to be done so that much not much here so let's go to the problem directly it says a trolley of mass 5 400 gram is moving at a constant velocity of 2.5 meter per second to the right as shown right as shown the mass is 400 kg so it is uh, uh, 0 0.4 sorry uh, kg 400 gram Gram, so 0. Point, let us say 4 kg. Show that the kinetic energy of the trolley is 1.3 joules. So the first one is easier. The kinetic energy should be equal to 1 by 2 mv squared equal to 1 by 2 m is 0. 0.4 and v squared is 2.5 then squared. So it will be equal to so it is 1 by 2. 0.5 into 0.24 into 2.5 squared is equal to so it gave me 1.25 joules so when we round it off we can use we can use 1.3 joules okay now the trolley in b in b moves to point p as shown in figure 3.2 so point p at point p the speed of the trolley is 2.5 as given here 2.5 so till uh, this point nothing has been done a variable force f acts to the left on the trolley as it moves between points p and q so as i said from here to here nothing has been done but from here to here there is a constant opposing force applying to applying on the body so a variable force f acts on the left on the trolley as it moves between points f and q variable force the force goes on increasing it means so it is somewhat like uh, when we when we twist the accelerator of bikes or when we apply brakes on vehicles so when we apply brakes our feet will go be going like this so that means the force is increasing so the same case here the variation of f with displacement x from p so x is the displacement from p is shown in the figure 3.3 so as the displacement increases the force also has been increased so it is somewhat like uh, um, in the case of applying our foot to brake in uh, uh, vehicles so we we apply uh, pressure on the uh, brake pad like somewhat like like this so same case here as the displacement increases increases the force also increases a bit linearly now so what the question asks us is the trolley comes to rest at point q so at point q at point q the trolley comes to rest calculate the distance pq calculate the distance pq so for that what we have to realize is realize is uh, here we have to apply the principle of uh, uh, work energy theorem so what happens is uh, till here till this position it has a ke of this much when it stops here when it stops here the ke becomes equal to zero so the decrease of ke should be equal to the work done on the body the decrease of ke should be equal to the work done on the body that is work energy theorem so that's why so i should have delta of ke is equal to work done on the body which is equal to the initial ke is uh, equal to 1.25 joules 1.25 joules which we up which we obtained here which we obtain here that then minus zero is equal to work done on the body to stop so therefore the work done is equal to 1.25 joules also we also know that the work done is given by the area covered by force and displacement graph the work done is given by given by the area covered by f into this f and displacement graph so here work done is equal to area of this thing work done is equal to area of this thing so which will be equal to 
so w is equal to 1 by 2 fx area of the graph there so area of graph graph so this gives us 1.25 is equal to 1 by 2 so till point q the force here is this is 10 11 12 13 14 so this thing is 15 this is 15 so this should be 14 so it is f equal to 14 14 into x so 2 7 is 14 so this gives us x is equal to 1.25 by 7 is equal to is equal to if i do the in calculator it will be equal to 0.17857 something nearly equal to 0.18 meters so distance pq is equal to 0.18 meters so the force will be applying till that distance so this distance is so when you apply the force the body will uh, try to stop will stop after traveling 0.18 meter distance which is uh, 18 centimeter if you use proper <coughs> units <coughs> excuse me <coughs> on the figure <coughs> 3.4 sketch the variation with x of the velocity v for the trolley moving between p and q so we have to draw a graph for the variation of <coughs> velocity so here let us uh, let us uh, realize that here v is max and here v is equal to zero so the initial value of v should be max which is 2.5 meter per second and later it has to turn zero so what happens here is we know that we know that uh, in the beginning in the very beginning f equal to zero f equal to zero so in the very beginning uh, at uh, x equal to zero i have got i have got uh, f is equal to zero which means a is equal to zero so we have got uh, uh, f equal to 0 which means a is equal to 0 and uh, at uh, at x equal to uh, pq let us say pq whole or max value max value equal to pq we have uh, f is equal to max which means a is equal to max equal to max so what you must happen is initially f uh, f0 a0 a0 means that rate of change rate of change of v equal to zero and here what happens is a, a max means rate of change rate of change of v is max so it means that initially initially we have got v equal to max and its rate of change is zero it means horizontal and that rate gradually goes on decreasing sorry grows on increasing and here at this point the rate of change should be maximum so here zero rate of change that means constant or say the graph is horizontal and here it is rate of change is high which means it has to have more slope so the graph should be should be should be somewhat like this it goes horizontally here and from here it comes like this so i have to fix this thing also somewhat like this so the slope should increase like this like this so this is the true nature of the graph